Today we are going to understand what is object oriented programming and understand what is encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. By the end of this video you will understand these topics and will be able to implement in your project. First is encapsulation. In programming encapsulation means bundling your data and methods together in a way that the internal details stay hidden. You only expose what's necessary. For example think of a smartphone you tap the screen to make a call send a message or open an app you don't need to know how the circuit inside works that complexity is hidden from you you can understand encapsulation with the help of this example the balance is private only the methods deposit and withdraw can modify it this ensures nobody accidentally messes up the account balance in short encapsulation is like a protective shell it keeps things organized secure and easy to use second is inheritance inheritance allows one class to pass its properties and methods to another Let's say we have a class for a generic vehicle instead of rewriting code for cars, bikes and trucks we can just inherit from the vehicle class for example a parent child relationship parent passes on their traits like eye color, height or even habits to their kids in this example we have class car and bike both have the property to start engine but instead of giving this property to each of them separately we will create another class which is a parent class called vehicle and give the start engine property to that class so we can inherit the start engine property from vehicle to their subclasses which are car and bike so car can start engine and bike also can start engine this saves time reduces errors and make your code reusable it's like reusing a foundation to build different types of buildings third is polymorphism polymorphism allows us to call the same method it allows the same action to behave differently depending on the object to understand polymorphism imagine you say play to a musician and a soccer player the musician will play a musical instrument while the soccer player will play a match as you can see in the example both cat and dog respond to the speak command differently polymorphism makes your code dynamic and adoptable next is abstraction abstraction means simplifying complex systems by focusing only on what's necessary it's like creating a user-friendly interface for example when you try a car you don't think about how the engine works how fuel ignites how the transmission operates you just steer accelerate and brake in this example you can see the payment processor class defines the rule but the details of how the payment is processed are handled by subclasses abstraction simplifies code and helps you manage complexity so we learn the four important topics of object oriented programming which are encapsulation which hides the messy details and and keeps your code secure second is inheritance that lets you reuse and extend functionality third is polymorphism makes the same command behave differently for different object last is abstraction helps you focus on what really matters and that's object-oriented programming in